our extensive sojourn continues here on Let's Get On With It Civilization 4 Saladin. Last episode, we progressed all the way up to turn 143, 660 AD. And we saw that Lincoln had a fuck ton of cash at his disposal. Speaking of Lincoln, Lincoln is plotting war still, as well as Byzantine uh, Empire. I wager that uh, Lincoln and Justinian will be gunning for each other. Um, Lincoln, uh, Justinian does not plot war pleased. Neither does Lincoln. Um, the only one who will plot war pleased is um, Isabella, and she's not doing any such thing. And since they, they share borders, since, um, since they are each other's worst enemies, since they are in opposing religions, I'm wagering that they're both preparing to declare war on each other. Um, folks have been asking in the comments, like, uh, are you not afraid of one of the AIs uh, getting uh, dominance over another? And I just uh, replied to a comment, no. The reason why is that um, Isabella and Justinian are all buddy-buddy with each other. So I'm, if one of them goes to war, I believe the other one will go to war on that person's side as well. Either through bribing or requesting, you know, just sheer dogpiling. That'll happen. But if you take a look at Lincoln, and you look at Gandhi... And, uh, if you look at, uh, Frederick and Pericles as well, Pericles is fucking friendly towards, uh, um, Frederick. But, uh, all these other guys, these peaceful guys, even though they're in differing religions, they're still pleased with one another. And they all, not too big of a fans of either Isabel or Justinian. As you can see, they're only cautious with those guys, and that's even with the penalties, simply because they're not warmongering types. Consequently... I'm thinking that one of these three, possibly Pericles, uh, I would say that he would be the uh, the most apt to join in um, if Lincoln got into trouble. I'm thinking that one of the three might end up joining his side as well. I think it also depends on who declares war first, since uh, Lincoln is the friend of all three of these guys. If Lincoln goes to war first, eh, maybe you know they wouldn't get that uh, that relation penalty there. So that's it there. And these guys aren't big warmongers. I also mentioned in my reply that uh, Justinian is the guy who has the highest build unit prop here. He's the one who's most prone to build military units. And I think that's 30. Everyone else, even Isabella, is at 25 or below. Gandhi has like 15 unit build prop. He doesn't spend his hammers on military at all. Which should not be surprising if you are familiar with Gandhi. Unless you were familiar with Gandhi through Civilization 1, in which case you're like, how is he not the craziest motherfucker on this planet? <laughs> uh, also, uh, speaking wonder-wise, you know, I'm not surprised that these wonders that I've been attempting to build have been going. These are really late. I mean, we're at 660 AD. The Great Library hasn't gone yet. Neither has the Mausoleum of Mausolus. That is late for a mortal. You know, this game has been late the entire time, so it doesn't come as a surprise. It's just, you know, if the wonders go, it's helping me out with my tech. And, you know, at 100%, I'm only losing 62 gold per turn. It's going to take me a long time to run out of gold, especially if I keep accumulating it. So I can keep the research train going for some time to come. Now, I will be able to make this quicker. Um... As soon as this grows to another size, I'm going to switch to even more hills, and we'll go from there. As a matter of fact, you don't need to be doing that. There are more hammers to be had. Oh, god damn it, I need to unpause the game. Silly grimmer. There are more hammers to be had out here, and it'll actually help the city grow quicker. These little efficiency things are things that I don't, don't often do. And, uh, it'll be a big boon. You're still poisoned. You will eventually recover. Looking over here, it's gonna take you a fucking while to produce a great person. <sighs> going to have to do something of, you know, else. Something different. As a matter of fact, uh... It's silly. You just grow. Grow, work more farms, grow more population... I presume I will be switching off slavery to civil service at a future date, and I will uh, exercise my abilities there. Then and there. Also, um, don't do that. Seriously, work, work the tiles. Just work the tiles. It'll make me happier. Uh, you're fine. 
you are also fine. Chicken pizza went this turn, didn't it? Or maybe it didn't. No, it was the Parthenon that went whenever Pericles built it. Uh, you're not going to really be able to be producing a great person either. I, 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 it's not going to happen. Okay, it's just not. <laughs> Although if you get if you take control of that farm like you should, who had that farm from you? That city. The fuck are you doing? Get off my goddamn farm. The city. Yeah, I I shouldn't. I mean, I'll just have Mecca, this city, uh, focus on it, great people, especially since I plan on getting the damn um, the what's a Baba doohickey. <laughs> The national epic somewhere. Even though this place doesn't have the most food, it's also, you know, a pretty big city. To run specialist. I don't have a dedicated, like, site that has a ton of food right now. I, I suppose Damascus would be it. Even though, you know, it doesn't even have a food resource. Which is madness! Perhaps Coruscant? Whenever I get it, you know, growing and throbbing and vibrating and... <laughs> what have you. Go ahead and work the improved tiles. I need to farm that some more. I don't know what the hell my guys are doing. Okay, let's make some trades now. Um, I want the gold. I want it. I want it. So we'll start here from the top. We'll start down here from the bottom, actually. Because I do want... That's a lot of gold for me to have. And I perhaps may be able to finagle something more out of it. For example... No, not that. Literature for construction and 220 gold. No? I couldn't afford that one, huh? Oh, well. I will do this, then. 220 gold, I will pay that for construction. I think that will be fine. Since I'm starting to accumulate so much gold here now that... I might as well just pick up these technologies. He's got a lot of gold now, but I'm not going to be able to trade for it. Which means that... I can also slide music over here in machinery and 430 gold. Which, again, it's, uh... I mean, I could research these things myself. My economy would be more efficient doing it. The problem is that, you know, I might not have the time. Same token, giving the AI lots of gold. I don't need machinery now, but I will need it. Music in exchange is not bad. A god from the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and spend my gold. Give you literature. Probably shouldn't be trading away literature uh, so freely until I get the goddamn Great Wall, but... Eh. Also, you lack... You do have civil service. So does she. I still don't want to trade that away, though. Instead, I think I will finally... How much more am I going to be whipping? If I give it a few turns. Let's switch off of it. I'm finally going to force myself off of this, guys. I, I am so amazed. And with that, then... Cities which produce the most food, like you, scientist, 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 scientist. Now you're stopping the gems. 20 turns. I lose a gem tile for that, though. But ultimately, you know, the, all the scientists there, all the rep scientists will keep me afloat in terms of tech. So 20 turns, you'll shrink in 22 turns. That'll be fine. Something that I should have done sooner. I... You know, I can't really think of a good defense for why I didn't. You guys have heard me say that I should have done it sooner, and I ultimately don't, so... 
I was just trying to build wonders there and shit. And, uh, 20 turns will be fine. We'll deal with 20 turns. And a final check on wonders. The Schwaggy was built along with the Parthon on the same turn. So how much time did I spend on that? 10 minutes! Okay, let's get on with the goddamn turn! <laughs> oh my god, we're making progress, guys! It's like all progressing and shit. Oh, no more free gold for me. Damn it. I really like free gold. It's not really free free, but you know. It is what it is. And of course, you know, Justinian's continuing to get pissed that I'm trading with his worst enemies. He's continuing to fall behind in tech as well. You have 100 gold. Since so many people have been getting music courtesy of me, I will trade this to you. But if one of them, you know, builds a Sistine Chapel in my face, it's not a big deal if I lose that. I don't have the marble. It'd be a denial of purpose. Yep, Shreggy was built and I got 11 gold from it. Sweet. And then I got 183 gold from it in another location. But I never even tried to build the Parthenon, so I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, Chicken Pizza has been built. Chicken Pizza. Someone was confused about that in the comments. I think it was Serpent Stare. Like, why do you keep saying that, Grimmeth? God damn it! <laughs> it's like... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Because it's funnier than saying Chichen Itza. True story. Also, go ahead and make you food neutral now. Seven turns. That will have to do. I could take the great engineer off, but seven turns. Just gotta hope that's enough. Hope that Pericles over there, his fucking marble ass. <laughs> ass constructed entirely of marble uh, won't get the thing before I do um, you help irrigate this now you murder trees slowly get on murdering with those trees farm that tile done I think we need your assistance down here we need to uh, make these tiles less shitty so you undo that. You... I mean... Farm. It's kind of too late for cottages. I guess I could adopt Emancipation later. I mean, the city's going to be eventually growing, I suppose. See, it's even, uh, it's even got a situation where... It could eventually grow. I'm actually going to switch that to a priest. To give me some more hammers. Not a whole lot, but... I mean, uh, I'm thinking about it, guys. I'll just leave it farmed. Non-Riverside Cottages at turn fucking 140 plus. That's just ugly. It seriously is. It's ugly. <laughs> and, I mean, I could give the gold mines back, but this city has now... I mean, this city is going to be growing more, so I could be giving the gold mines back. And with that, I would have the opportunity to work more food tiles, which means... Okay, wasted work return. Sure, we'll slap down some cottages. I mean, I'm going to be here for a while in this game. I'll adopt Emancipation later if I have to. Nope, free gold return I was getting from Gandhi went away as well. Damn it, Gandhi! Supposed to be giving me your money. There is no wealth. Right, there's knowledge. education, no which means I can have some fun building that stuff involving education. Who knew? Okay. So liberalism is now available once I get philosophy. What do I want to live? I want to live the most expensive thing for me. Communism is not too big of a deal on account of me being, you know, I have a pretty focused empire. I'm not losing a lot of gold per turn. Um... But I do want to... I tell you what. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go after something like economics. For free market. It involves getting feudalism. I don't suppose anyone would be so kind as to trade that to me. No. No more trades right now. No one has paper yet. Which is actually my big problem. Freddy's the only one with um, philosophy. I want to make sure that no one else can win this race that I'm having here.
You have the most gold per turn available. I'll take eight gold per turn. Thank you. Six gold per turn. Do I have something that you... Well, I don't have an excess of something that you want. You... You have a cow, but... Uh, you want a cow, but I don't have anything for you either. This is what I like to do, folks. Look at how much gold per turn I am getting by selling these things. Net foreign income. 36 gold per turn. That's a significant boon. It really is. Uh, how much more gold I could be losing per turn if I did not have that on my side. You know, that, that really is huge. God, he has horseback rating. Interesting. Oh, and of course I got the gold, uh, fail gold from building, partially building Chichen Itza. That's too awkward for me to say. I'll stick with chicken pizza. Okay, thanks. Uh, I can spread irrigation of this tile. By farming that tile. I think I'll do that. You guys mind this one. And... We still have a world who is not at war. As of yet. But that could change. I am seriously assuming and thinking and perhaps even hoping that, you know, Lincoln and, you know, Justinian are going after each other. God forbid Justinian's, like, going after me. <laughs> that changes everything. And yeah, I can leave that now. Go ahead and go into there as a defender of that city. That will mean that all of my cities will have defenders after that axe who's so far away heads over there. That'll be cool. Do, 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 do. World map trades, we don't need to do it. It's okay, bros. It's okay. It's completely superfluous and entirely unnecessary. Pericles got a great profit. I can irrigate that. Start chopping down that forest. Lovely tree murder, guys. It is beautiful. And we might as well just come down here and irrigate. We kind of need to. You should check all of my cities again. Don't begin taking this slow. Uh, being thoughtful about it. Not something you have to do, but it's something I'm choosing to do. And I no longer need you there, Engineer. I'll even grow in 20 turns. Oh, that did slow down my tech rate just by a little bit. Whatever. Well... Was that enough to actually get me finished with that? No, it wasn't. I didn't think so. I could, uh, build research somewhere and, uh, get feudalism in one turn, but it's not a rush that I'm in right now. You're still shrinking. That's understandable. Gonna take you forever to build that synagogue. Also understandable. You're doing okay. That's good. You're also doing as okay as you could be doing, as are you... Okay. Helps to check these things. I suppose you don't really need to be there anymore. There anymore. How about you start working on some farm irrigation for this place? Out there in the world, trades I could trade. Um, machinery, not something I'm looking for trading. Um, Frederick's got a monopoly on this crap, so he doesn't want to give it away. And he's actually the first person to feudalism. 720 AD. <laughs> slow AI is slow. Slow AI is slow. Check espionage. Anyone put... No, it's just Isabella who has her points on me. Pericles has a few points too, but everyone else... Nope. They have bigger targets. Understandable. Gandhi is continuing to send me missionaries, which is a giggle. It's a fucking giggle. Not like giggles, the Sumerian leader. Oh! Lincoln has made his move! By declaring war on Justinian. That will, uh, that cancels out uh, Justinian's war plans if he was going to target someone besides Justinian. 
Uh, or he just aims targeting himself if he's going to target someone else. And uh, we'll go from there. Actually going to... Uh, I'm going to prepare these tiles for something greater than... Uh, <laughs> that wasn't vague at all. For something greater, yes. <laughs> they have a greater destiny ahead of them, yes. I'm actually going to start building water mills and workshops along uh, tiles that don't have cottages on them. The reason why I'm going to do that is, I guess state property will end up being a goal for me. State property is not bad. It'll increase the output of my... It's not something I need, though. I mean... State property is something if you want to have, like, a burgeoning, blossoming empire. Free market. I mean, if I'm going to go all the way to the end of the game, then I can get corporations. State property wouldn't allow me the opportunity for, uh, corporations. I'll have to think on that some more. Any tech trades I can make at this time? None that I want to. Uh, goods and resources I could offer. I do have that cowl. Pericles has no gold to spare. I do also have an iron, which no one is interested in having. Okay. Also, I'm, you notice how I'm not working on universities yet, which is unfortunate. I'll get around to it. To my Lord be true and faithful no, and serfdom. Serfdom is arguably the worst civic in the game. It seriously is. Unless you are doing like one of those advanced starts where you need to immediately get started on those worker turns, it's genuinely bad. It really is. I'll go ahead and work on that watermill though. Isabella? What? 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 Where did she build that? Oh, she has marble there. What? Oh, God damn it, you fucking hooker. I didn't... Duh, of course she has marble. She built it in her capital. Oh. I don't know how I didn't notice that. I thought Pericles was the only one with marble. And it's right fucking there. Duh! Man, she is pissed! <laughs> she didn't get... <laughs> and, you know, the saddest part is that's my fault. Did she use a great engineer on that? Did she get... No, Gandhi got the great engineer. I gotta check these great people out. You guys give me a fucking minute. I don't want to imagine the fact that she built that so damn fast. No, she did. Unless she just had a great engineer that she was saving up. Welcome to production bonuses. Welcome to fucking production bonuses. And that's not even going to be like a good... That is like me just building wealth. That seriously is like me just building wealth. So that wasn't a good haul. There. I might as well have just been building wealth that entire time. Since I didn't have any production uh, uh, modifiers that would not have gone to wealth. <laughs> that is my fault. It's my fault that that happened. And uh, Pericles might very well be working on the Muslim and Mausolus. It's my fault for trading away literature so often. I just didn't think that, uh... God damn it, she had Marvel. Duh, Grandma, <laughs> Well, you guys got a what moment. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> God damn it, game. Fucking blindsided me. It did, it did. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need that farm. Fucking hookers can get their own goddamn farm. <laughs> you need that farm. And you don't need that mine. I mean, since I'm going to have you do specialists as well. <laughs> 
Oh. No, my water hole! Not my water hole, no. Once again, it's Isabella being spiteful. Man, that bitch doesn't get a religion. She gets so fucking angry. And I never told you to stop doing that, huh? Oh, Justinian's lost a city. First blood. Oh, he was the one who was prepared to go to war. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> God damn it. I can't be, you know, I'm not angry. I was just shocked. And only a little shocked at that. I mean, it's the fucking AI. I mean, it's immortal. They should have they should have had that fucking built already. I can't be mad at that. It should have already been done. I was playing with house money by trying to build that one super late. I seriously was. You're the only one who doesn't have civil service, Gandhi. Well, <laughs> Actually, we won't even get started there. So, I tell you what. I'm gonna be so... It's only 70 gold. I don't know whether it's worth that. At least, ho hopefully, I'll at least get the mausoleum. Also, due to a lack of health... I mean, you got your water hole poison, which is why you're so damn unhealthy. So, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> what?! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> good times, guys. Good times. Fucking Isabella. I wonder if she's actually going to get Divine Right. I mean, she's currently fumbling with uh, engineering. I don't think that's going to be her, uh, her goal in life. Market's been built here. You know... I gotta check something. Who founded Christian Right, the Byzantine Empire? Does anyone else have theology? Lincoln and Frederick do. But I bet the AP is going to be Buddhist. Do I have Buddhism in any of my cities? Two of them, including Mecca, my capital. I'm gonna have to pay attention to that. Because obviously it's gonna be something I'm interested in. And unfortunately, Gandhi's been infecting me with Judaism. Fucking Jews. So, uh, I won't be able to take advantage in that way. God damn it. I don't suppose there's any way for me to be able to finish this in one turn. How much more? Ha how many more hammers do I need? Like, mousing over it is not helping me. What does this tell me? 45 hammers. This will give me 35. I can't make 45 happen. So it's going to have to be two turns. I guess if I chop down those forests, but I think those would go to Basra. <sighs> you better fucking believe I ain't trading their calendar. <laughs> This game is full of surprises, guys! Oh. Fucking Isabella showed me. That's what I get for pussyfooting with the immortal AI. That's what I get. That was my just desserts. Can't complain about that. I mean, I could. I'm certainly doing a fantastic job of it. And I am hopeless when it comes People to power. The same trade seldom meet together. Okay, Basra built that. Your next step is to build a university. The Go ahead and irrigate that tile. I'm gonna fucking start automating these guys pretty damn soon. Really? Freddy got it! <laughs> well, I don't even have to worry about the AP. I don't have Confucianism in any of my cities. Took it from fucking Justinian. I, he had to have been going after that. Did Freddy get? Um, well, he might have... No, the AI doesn't fucking change their plans whenever they go to war. They'll still stupidly build wonders. No, Gandhi was the only one who got the great engineer. Unless that was another saved up one. Huh! <laughs> this game is full of surprises. Such a weird game. What's been happening? Such a weird game. Oh, man. Okay. How much?
much time we have on the clock now. We'll go for about maybe another 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> he built it. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and of course, you know, the AI is like, we don't need theology now. I don't know. I don't either. Pretty loathe to trade music to Gandhi. Gandhi's the guy, type of guy who loves to go after the Sistine Chapel. If Isabella builds that, which she could, God, I hope Heracles builds it. <laughs> I might really have to kill her. I might sincerely, truly have to kill her. And I say that with all the love I can muster in my heart, Isabella might have to die. By my hands. And it will be fun. Um... We're going to start working towards yet another great scientist if I am going to be uh, huddling up. I mean, what kind of beakers am I producing in my cities? Mecha could definitely use it in Kufa? No, Kufa is the one that I'm... Well, Kufa does have those. I'd probably build it somewhere in, like, in... Not Damascus, but uh, in Baghdad. <sighs> you stagnate. Don't make me angry, goddammit. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. Okay, Mausoleum of Mausolus comes in one turn. And I'm actually going to utilize this Golden Age now. Presuming I did build the son of a bitch. No, no, it's a terrible trade. Yep, I managed to get it. Thank the good heavens, I got something. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and get a workshop on that tile. That windmill can stay there until such a time. I mean, I'm not going to be in a hurry to work those tiles anyway. What I'm going to be in a hurry to do is... Come here, Louis Armstrong. Play some sweet-ass jazz, man. Game to actually lag there a little bit. 480 beakers per turn. And I'm going to be producing great people quicker. 12 turn Golden Age as opposed to the Standard 8. I don't need it to avoid Anarchy. That's uh, one of the huge reasons why I like to use Golden Ages. I don't need it in that situation, but uh, it'll definitely help make all of my cities better. As evidenced by the fact that I am going to turn into a researching machine. And I'm perfectly okay with that. We need to make up for uh, some of the things that have just transpired. <laughs> Economics in four turns, not bad. Could be doing better. Banking Could definitely be doing better. And I don't feel like adopting mercantilism. I don't have, like, obviously the most dominant empire. So I won't worry about it. Oh. Um. Focus on whatever you want. Okay, you still got the engineer, that's fine. We need to kill these trees as well. Go ahead and farm those tiles. Those farms will get better whenever I get biology. As if that's an immediate focus right now. Yeah, whenever I get biology, lol. Ah, uh, sure, that won't be hard for me to get. <laughs> uh, just fucking woo biology. Of course. You're doing fine, city. Uh, so are you. You're stagnant, and that's great with me. Uh, you have some more tiles to grow onto. You don't have a whole lot of food, though. I will be getting a farm on that space, uh, north of... That die to the northwest. I don't know whether my mouse pointer broke at this point, so that's why I'm trying to offer such terms. You're doing fine, but you're eventually going to be running out of unimproved of improved tiles yourself. Okay, just doing a quick check. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. The cities aren't doing that bad. They're actually, uh... I mean, despite the high maintenance, they're still producing more than they're losing. Which is nice. Courthouse is coming up. Which is good. Also, the market's not a big priority right now. If only because I'm not running my slider at anything less than 100%. So I'm not getting any wealth from the markets. Yet I'm continuing to persist at building it anyway. Oh, Izzy's going after, uh... Izzy's going after horseback riding. 
And none of the other AIs have joined it in the conflict yet. I tell you what, you have uh, you have a hundred gold at your disposal. I'm a nice guy. Give me that money. He's pleased with me. Lincoln is also pleased with me. I like these whole good relations things. You're not quite pleased with me. But you're Isabella, and I don't expect miracles. Islam has been found in Stuttgart. All religions have gone. Isabella does not have a single fucking one. What? 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 wants to give me a fucking religion, fine. I'll build all the motherfucking wonders. Fuck all of you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Good news is that she's gonna annoy Justinian's borders, which is gonna be funny. The bad news is that She's gonna annoy my partners too. <laughs> Why do I sell her literature and music? Well, I figured she would have picked it up anyway. I... Come on, Pericles! Where were you on that one? <laughs> this has been the strangest <laughs> game. And it's my fault! That is all my fault. I traded that stuff to her. I gave her the tools, and she absolutely ripped through those wonders. She crushed them. I created that. I created the Sistine Chapel in my face. It's my fault. It's my fault. Oh, man. That's the saddest part. It's... I knew what it could do, I knew I didn't want it in my face, and I let it happen anyway. I... I... <laughs> I am, uh... I'm like shell shocked right now. Well, um, might as well. If you speak the truth, have a foot in the stirrup. Maybe Isabella will go culture. <laughs> that would be funny. God damn it. Why can't I have Marvel? I don't even know whether I want to try for the Taj. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh, man. I might as well go through the process of getting that, though. My God. Isabella is just, like, enraged right now. Like, ah! <gasps> I'm good. I appreciate the offer, bro, but I'm good. You have fun. No, I appreciate the offer. That actually did make him a little annoyed. But it's not my fight. That's your fight, not mine. Ah, not irrigated. God damn it. 
I'm going to have to be more effective with my culture press. Sad face. Okay. Go up there and we'll watermill that. And you'll help with the watermilling process. Get a great scientist in two terms. I'm going to get a free merchant from, uh... <laughs> a free merchant. <laughs> Here, Lincoln. I'll trade this to you. Thank you. You're a good guy, Lincoln. You're a good guy. <laughs> I think the best way to describe how I feel right now is shell-shocked. It all happened so fast! <laughs> no, man. God damn it. Do a final check through of the cities. You need to remain stagnant. I like you that way. Though, you could probably... Oh, I mean, this city's not gonna grow anymore. That's a fun fortunate farm is no longer irrigated because uh, India cut me off there. Fucking bastards. You're doing okay. Could I speed this up without you shrinking entirely? I could not. But it would give me the great scientist next turn at the cost of all of my food here. The city would completely starve down. I could have probably done a better job of microwing this. Is it worth losing an entire population to get the thing sooner? Could be. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go ahead and go for that then. If I'd been microwing that, maybe I could have avoided losing that to begin with. But, eh, things happen. <laughs> like Isabella just raging and. Oh, man. It's a great storyline for Isabella. It's a great storyline. Is her absolutely, you know, just... <laughs> just coming out of nowhere. These wonders are mine! <laughs> She's going to pray in the Sistine Chapel every day. Asking God for forgiveness and why she wasn't worthy enough to found a religion of her own. No. That's not something I'm willing to give away. God damn it. Quit asking me for shit. Fucking go away, asshole. Give me this. I still want to stay in gas system for the time being. Ah, oh, there we go. That's good. University has been built here. Um. Tell you what. Invest your hammers into Saint Core. Imagine the, one of the AIs will eventually get paper. I'm not trading that away. No. Not yet. And um, then I can get some fail gold from that. Obviously, you need to skedaddle on over there. God damn it, Grimoth. God damn it. Probably not going to be able to hold onto that tile, so I don't know why I'm about to improve it, but I am. I'm going to hold on to you for the time being. I don't have a gold shortage yet. Who built the Temple of Artemis? <laughs> Spain. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. This game. All right. We'll go ahead and stop it there. 940 AD. We're working on the slow approach towards... Yeah, I know. You're going to starve. Shut up. I guess I'll fix you. There. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking city. I'll get another great person in eight turns. It's probably going to be another... Um, probably going to be another great scientist. Actually, reduce that to six turns now. That's great. Before my golden age ends. And I might use that great scientist to prolong the golden age. I might not. We'll have to say. Uh, 
switch switching in the pacifism that I get from philosophy and uh, flipping to Judaism. It's crazy enough an idea that is would allow me to produce great people quicker as well, but it's going to have to be something I think about next time. As always, feel free to comment, whatever, leave whatever it is you got to say, say whatever it is you got to do, and uh, look forward to seeing you all next time. Future Let's Get On With Adventures. Toodaloo!